it's all going to happen. So I had to pull some some quick data because I we all know that you know there's the, the four year cycle. We talk about it all the time, right? And now we're in the all time high uh, years. If you haven't heard of my four year cycles, go watch any video I've done in like the last six months. I talk about it all the time. So like with this one here, I I just pulled Bitcoin's chart, and I want to take a look at that particular all time high year. And you can see like in 2017, let's see, uh, sorry, 2013, uh, going back in time. If we take a look at the, the end of April, Bitcoin was like 135 bucks. Wouldn't that be fantastic? But then, because it doesn't go be beyond that and uh, it kind of dipped down a little bit. Now in May, we have 111, 112, 113, and it just kind of went sideways for a little bit. 128, sideways, sideways, a little bit of a dip here until July sideways sideways august it kind of rebounded and all of a sudden it was just off the races that's a pretty good pretty decent look but i think this one's more telling this is when we take a look at uh 2017. so if we're taking a look here at 2017 let me fast forward here this is january february march let me blow this up so you can see so here if we're taking a look at 2016, moving forward, November, December, January, February, March. Take a look at the price of Bitcoin in March. So not too bad. People always say like March isn't a great year for cryptocurrency. It's not awful. Look, you have about a, almost $1,200 in March. $1,191, $1,258, $1,074, bit of a dip, $1,036, eh, a little bit, and just sideways action, right? $1,140 up until April. So now in April, people are talking about, oh, this is going to be great. I don't think April's that great of a month. Look, you have 1140, 1189, 1132, 1200, 12, 1183, back down to the 14th. And the 15th, it kind of just becomes stagnant. What's going on around April 15th? That's when taxes are due. And in the United States, I don't know where you're at, but that's a, you know, that's a lot of money being sloshed around and people need to pay their taxes. And around April 15th, the only place that's really liquid 24-7, 365, as you guessed it, the cryptocurrency market. So at the, around this time, people start to liquidate things because they need to pay for their taxes. Then after that, it's off to the races. 1321, 1349, 1400, 1500. This is in May now, mind you. Then we're going to keep going up. 1700, $2,000 in May, and up we go. And then, of course, 2700, we kind of drop back down. And I think I see the same type of thing going on in our market right now. So you have to remember, though, on one thing, and that is this. When we're talking about uh, taxes, this could probably happen again. The thing is, nowadays, or not nowadays, just for this particular year, the IRS in America has pushed us back from April 15th to May 15th. So I believe people have a little bit more time to save up for their taxes but they're still gonna liquefy and they're still gonna sell their cryptocurrency. So I believe towards the end of May and June, we're gonna see uh, a pretty stellar uh, month, but that will only happen after that time frame, after people sell for their taxes. Also, I wanna have you take a look at this, and this is what we're talking about as far as, uh, that's just Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Ethereum. The same type of thing, right? Because we, we can't just take a look at Bitcoin, we gotta take a look at alts. How about one of the king of the alts? Which if you take a look at this, we're looking at, here's 2017. So again, in March, wow, look at that, $19 for an Ethereum, 23, 28, 34. So actually, they're into pretty good uh, in March 2017, 44, 41, 50, 52. And then it, it ended up at 50, it actually doubled in price in March. So when people say that March is on a good, good month, it's not too bad for alts. And then, so let's take a look at April. 48, 45, 44. So it drops down again because what are people doing? They're selling for their taxes. 47, 48. And then what happens here after the taxes? Now it starts to do this 50 bucks, $77, 89, 96. And then up it goes and up it goes. So when you have any type of, if you're taking a look at like what could potentially happen, look at tax season. Look what's going to happen. Now again, April 15th, it's going to, for Americans, it get it's, it's gotten pushed forward to May fifteenth. So I think uh, towards right after May, end of May, early June, that's when we're gonna see a little bit more fireworks about what's gonna happen on with crypto and digital assets. So 
Let me know what you think uh, in the comments section. Let's move on to one of our last pieces. Oh, before I forget, if you're, if you're looking for help with your taxes, CryptoTrader.tax. There is a link in the description. Dan, uh, viewers get 20% off. Also, there's a link underneath that, uh, that uh, discount where you can put in your first name and email and enter to win for an unlimited tax report, which is $300 value. So whatever you wanna do, if you wanna try to win the big prize, which they draw every single week, or just sign up and get your taxes done. Super simple, took me 30 minutes, send over my CPA, bing, done, and that's it.